Letting it go, it worked for Frozen. <laughs> but yes. in reality, it's hard to let go of things. Yeah, look, I think everybody struggles with clutter in some way or other. I mean, every single person, whether it's memory clutter yeah. or I might need it one day, clutter can really affect our lives in a whole lot of different ways. So even Superman had kryptonite. He was weak. <laughs> Do you have a weakness? You're the clutter organiser. Well, you know, it's funny. I think we have a clip of, um, of my own home here to give you a sense of a little bit what it's like. Look, I'm not the crazy organising guy, but the system... You have one my... pan. <laughs> well, that was four. OK. Four. So, and there's a ton. So just the systems help me stay organised. Don't stress me. Okay. Don't overwhelm me. I don't waste money right. buying things I already own. So OK, it works so well. you have this thing called a trash bag tango. Yes, that's What correct. is that? Well, it's funny you should ask because I happen to have two trash bags with me Funny right you should now. ask, Cameron Hall. <laughs> so, look, if you're feeling overwhelmed with clutter, if you're feeling like I don't know where to start, this is what you do. Two trash bags. Uh-huh. Ten minutes... Well, don't get too excited <laughs> just yet. Two, two trash bags, ten minutes a day, wander around the house. One you fill with stuff you'd like to donate, old books, clothes that okay. don't fit you, broken toys, and one of trash. So for 30 days... You can even do it for one... If, you do, if two of you do it for 30 days, uh -huh. at the end of 30 days you would have 60 bags of donation and 60 bags of trash ten minutes a day. Clearly, I didn't pass math. But, OK, it <laughs> worked. <laughs> OK, so I have, I brought out, this is, we uh, did not tinker with my bag. This okay. is actually how I walked into work today okay. with my bag. Let's have a look here. What do you got? You got any? There is a do, reindeer. Got, well, that's, a, that's, let the audience it decide. Was a is gift. this a donate or not? No, I can't. It was a gift. OK, hold on. Where was that? Can you look again? This is a hat. Donate or keep? I say trash it. Can keep you? it. Oh, oh, keep. Ah! OK. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> Baby <laughs> beluga book for Moses. Okay. Uh, Y'all... Okay. <laughs> Why am I carrying pantyhose? I didn't even have one. <laughs> okay, I'll do mine. No, it, this is too personal. I'll do mine. <laughs> Look. Okay, but I get the point. I do believe in... I donate a huge amount of clothes to yep. Housing Works every uh -huh. season. Yep. Major charity. They look for my clothes on there. That's how I declutter yes. my closet. But we have some Tam fan people who have specific issues. That's it. Video from Hannah. She watches our show. Here's the problem they're having in their home. Okay. Hannah Gross from St. Petersburg, Florida, and this is our family pantry. We have two boys, one on the way. As you can see, we just kind of stash stuff on the floor and stack stuff up top. So we would love your help after the new year to help us organize our pantry. OK, so what's the first thing to do to organize? Well, look, the thing is, does your pantry make you feel good or does it overwhelm you? Okay. You should have a pantry that makes you feel like this. You can quickly... What's the feeling you get when, as soon as I open this pantry door? Ah. That's it. So the pantry should help you keep a healthy life. OK, We're, so how do we do it? Well, by using rectangular containers, number one. Okay. They, they use space way more efficiently. When you buy new stuff, put it at the back of the cupboard, not at the front, and use half shell... Look at oh. light so bulb you, That's a happen, cos I end up with, like... 20 bottles of peanut butter. Yeah, and I'm it. like, how did I end up with seven bottles of syrup? Well, if you have two shelves, half depth, okay. you put the new stuff in the back, back okay. and pull the old stuff to I the I like front. that. So you put your teas and Don't leave the tea in the container we That's buy it, it I in. have exactly these containers in my own home. And then you can multi-purpose things. OK. This is a magazine file. Oh! And you simply use it to store your saran wrap or... Um, Instead or of, like, trying to shove it, because I'm currently, like, kicking it, I trying am, to get the thing to close. I am coming to your home. No, you're not. So, look, body, <laughs> body, mind, soul. OK, I do do this. Yes. Now, not this neat, but this is nice. So you put all of your spices. Do you label the dates? At, no, well, I don't, because I, I cook, cook a, a lot. huge okay. amount. But, okay. yes, you should write dates on any okay. products you buy. So you do the magazine rack again with the foil, yep. and then you stack different... What about spices, though? I have a spice drawer, lay them flat, open the drawers, alphabetical so you can quickly and easily find them. Oh. Yeah. Look, it's really, it's not that difficult. The question is, do you want to feel overwhelmed? Right. Or do you want to feel like Because that's a big part of it. It's not just so that you can take pictures for Instagram to show how coordinated things are. <laughs> it is because when you release clutter, you release stress. That is exactly it. And all the research shows that.